everyone and welcome back to my channel if you're new here hello i'm Hallie Faith. if you're not new here welcome back so for today's video this might be quite a rushed video i'm sorry about that but this is basically a last minute decision i have about 20 minutes if not less before i have to leave my house for college but i thought i'm going to film my everyday makeup routine slash kind of get ready with me for college so we're just gonna get straight into it i'm gonna show you everything that i use from eyebrows lips contour like everything this is kind of an everyday routine however i don't always do like contour and stuff but i will be doing today because i just want to like do my makeup properly to feel nice for the day so that is the plan so we're gonna get straight into it so my makeup bag is actually from primark this was five pounds absolute bargain it fits so much in like literally so much in oh man we've had a blusher explosion all over my foundation brush that's just great, isn't it? That's just literally bloody great. Well, yeah, so for my eyebrows, I have my brush from Beauty Bear, and then I have the Tropic Brow Powder, which is literally a mess right now, so probably need a new one. Um, but I literally swear by this product. It is so, so good. I absolutely love it. So I start with my eyebrows and my like, mascara and stuff. Let me change the camera with the angle of the camera. Yeah, I start with my eyebrows and things like that, so the if any of it like loose powder bits drop or any mascara drops that i can like clean it up before like instead of having to take off my foundation with it if you know what i mean so we start with that then with my eyebrows let me just find it i can't believe this blusher explosion everything is covered in blusher i'm just using the tropic aluma and my tropic what's it called beauty sponge to do my concealer just in like around my eyebrows and stuff just make them nice and neat and you get the gist by the way i am no makeup expert but i just do what works for me I don't don't watch tutorials usually i'm not do you know just don't judge my way of makeup if you're thinking holly what the hell are you doing because it works it works for me so we're gonna use that so yeah, I just put the concealer around my eyebrows like in this middle bit here, just to even both of my eyebrows out and then round them as well, just to give them a bit of a brighter look. And then we're going to go in with my mascara because again, my camera dropped. I just cut myself off. Um, I'm sorry about this camera angle today. The thing, like my tripod keeps dropping, so my camera's slowly getting smaller. Um, I don't do eyeshadow every day. Um, I very well, rarely wear eyeshadow. So I'm going to go in my mascara again using a Tropic mascara. I am obsessed with Tropic. They are so, so good. All natural and completely, like, really, it's actually good for your skin, like, compared to normal makeup. Um, but you will see how good this mascara is in a minute. Is anybody else like, guys, when they're doing their mascara? Because, like, I sure do. I tend to put quite a lot of mascara on because of how small my eye eyelashes are. So that is my mascara eye and that is my non-mascara eye. Like from the side, you can really, really tell how good it is. I also sometimes use the Benefit Bad Girl Bang. However, mine has run out. So I'm going to ask for some for Christmas because I just, because this one's good for me, like for now especially. The, sorry this angle again because this is like all right and like i can cope with it i don't want to go and spend like 24 pounds on the mascara my mascara done i'm actually going to scream at this camera in a minute if it's going to keep dropping because that's really irritating okay next i'm going to go in with the concealer underneath my eyes to get rid of these bags because wow like they're so bad at the minute oh I've got some mascara on there um they're literally unbelievable at the minute I don't even know why, like, I've actually been sleeping. I mean, I didn't sleep too well last night, um, but I have been sleeping, so I don't know why they are as bad as they are. I feel like they shouldn't be, but they really are. I never usually use my beauty blender that I'm using now. I usually use my, like, a brush, but because my blush has gone all over the brush that I use for my concealer and foundation, I'm going to have to use a sponge, which is kind of annoying because I don't actually like using um oh my god i can't speak beauty blenders because actually they take in so much bacteria and i always feel like whenever i break out in spots it's usually after i've been using beauty blenders instead of a brush um and i also feel like when you use a brush like your actual makeup goes on so much quicker and so much nicer 
Um, my foundation, again, is also Tropic, guys. I think this could end up being like a full face of Tropic makeup at this point. Um, but it's literally built to go and I've just put far too much on. That's great. Now I'm going to go in with my beauty sponge again because of my brush being like this. So this is the brush I usually use, but as you can see, it's full of blusher. So I'm not going to do that because I don't end up with a pink face. But again, it's a Tropic Kabuki brush, that one. And honestly, guys, if you, if you haven't tried Tropic makeup, then you really need to. And the skincare, like, it's called Tropic Skincare, and I have literally every single thing. My mum's actually an ambassador for them, so see, she, like, sells it and stuff. So I have so much of it, and I will never, ever go back to, like, other foundations or, like, eyebrow stuff. It's just so perfect. And it's such a right shade as well. Like, I always struggle to find the right shade of things um, for my skin because I am so pale. But then usually if I get like a really light one, it's like a ghost. So like a ghost if I get the one above, I look orange. So I, I always struggle to find the right shade. But with Tropic, it's always, always correct, which is really good. So I'm just literally dabbing around my face. I do go quite under my eyes, like right under to make sure I've got no creases and no gaps. And I do tend to put some on my eyelids too which I blend it with my finger for that um just so my whole skin matches because I don't think there's anything worse when you do foundation or you like concealer and you're and you don't put eyeshadow in and then your eyelids don't match like I don't think that's there's anything worse so I'm gonna do my head oh with my head I literally oh I just got foundation everywhere great it's honestly <laughs> Um, but you'll see in a minute how natural it looks and it's not cakey at all. Like I'm putting loads on, but it doesn't look cakey in the slightest, which is obviously amazing because I hate cakey makeup. I absolutely hate it with a passion. And I think that's also why I tend to not um, buy any other foundations because I just always end up coming out looking like just something's gone wrong i'm gonna use a foundation brush now just to blend it around i don't really like this type of foundation brush i know that is what it is but i feel like it doesn't get or oh, this specific one maybe just doesn't doesn't blend the same it doesn't get the same effect um but it's all we've got right now so we're gonna go with it just gonna circle it round like this Always make sure you go to your neck as well, guys, because that's another thing. We're orange lines, we don't like that. So that is my foundation. As you can see what I was saying, it's not cakey at all. Like, it's literally so... It looks so thin when it's on, but it's full coverage. Like, honestly, I've never found a foundation so perfect ever. I've got hair on my eyes. Moving on, because we are really running out of time, we're going to go into my contour. So my contour, I'm using my Sunkissed bronzer, which is this one, it's literally huge, it's huge, it's like the size of my head, which is just amazing I suppose, because it's going to last a long time. So I'm just going to go in like this, tap it on the end and put it on my face really. I always circle, circle motion it rather than go up and down. And then into the sides. And then next time, by the way, guys, I don't think I've said the brushes that I'm actually using today are my Beauty Bay ones that I got for my birthday. Um, my sister got me them, they're honestly actually really good. I didn't really like the foundation brush to be honest, like I said before, but like this brush that I'm using now is like insane, it's so good. Um, but yeah, that's the brushes that I'm using, they're like 25 pounds, I think pack as well which is actually quite good maybe i'm too blusher even though it's completely broke i'm just going to do a quick tap because this one's really pink um so it's going to look pink probably quite a lot when i put it on but then i have to blend it in and it doesn't look as bad um but i just tap it around my cheeks like this and a little bit on my nose for a bit of bit of coloring you know to get the gist i'm just going to go in with the beauty blender for this one instead of a brush 
I never used to wear blusher. I absolutely hated it. I never wore it. Didn't like it. Just didn't think it was very me. And then I had to wear it for a show that I did. And then I was like, you know what? I actually really like it. So ever since then, I've always, always wore blusher. Now for highlighter, I'm only going to put a tiny bit on because I wanted quite a matte look today. Didn't really want too much of a glowy look. So we're going to do just a little bit of it because, like I said, just don't want too much, if you know what I mean. So I'm using, I think I'm going to tell you, the Doll Beauty Duo. These are the shades. What shades are they? Shine Bright and Like a Diamond. So we're going to use them. I'm using my fan brush and just a quick little bit like that and a little tiny bit of my nose and a bit on my t-zone and then that is that done then for my lips today i'm just going to be using a lip gloss from sunkiss this is the crystal couture lip elixir infused with vitamin e so this is what it looks like it's like a nude color it's like a nude nude pinky kind of color um but it's beautiful so i'm going to go in with that today i tend to usually actually let me put it on first before i speak I tend to usually wear gloss for college rather than some um, lipstick because I just think it's nicer, especially with the course that I'm doing. I don't put lipstick smudging all over my face. I feel like lip gloss will just wear out and obviously it is a bit annoying. But I think the lip gloss, it, when lipstick kind of like wears out and it's kind of done, it looks a mess. Like, I just don't like it. So I thought, you know, we will go for lip gloss usually for college just so that when it does come out or come off even oh my hair, that it isn't doesn't look a mess i'm just going to chuck my hair back up but a bit neater ready for college okay i better end my video here because i'm in a rush and i've got to get out the house now so thank you very very much for watching i really hope you enjoyed if you enjoyed this type of video then do let me know because i will do more if they are something that you enjoy um and if not just you know just don't say anything then next week will be a weekly vlog that i'm actually doing right this minute as we speak like this week is the vlog um but yeah thank you for watching i really hope you enjoyed and then follow all of my social medias linked down below i haven't said that in a few of my videos and i just forgot um, my Instagram is linked down below and my TikTok, so make sure to go follow them, you know, drop me a DM, say hello, um, and I shall see you guys very, very soon for a new video. Bye!